Hello, this is Virendra Diyar. My mind is stimulated and activated to share the fundamental principles of life. This message is directly related to the children or anybody who want to attain great success in life, health, wealth, prosperity, peace and all sorts of abundance. There is only one way. Take the responsibility of our life. You can build your life. You can shape your destiny. You can create heaven on earth. And you will be the master of your fate and captain of your soul. Because all the power you are having with yourself. Your mind is the master power that mold and max. So start using your brain. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve for you. You are endowed with tremendous ability and capability. You can have a definite purpose and a fixed goal in your life. Then you can start focusing the total power of your mind with resolute will, invincible determination. And once you start working, you will be facing a lot of problems, difficulties and hindrances. But you have to have a tremendous belief and faith that if you persist continually with conviction and faith that you will never fail, falling, but still rising with very confident attitude, you are bound to be successful in life. I am very sad to say that majority of the people are failing in life. They live in miseries, sorrow, suffering, grief. They are not able to enjoy all the blessings of the planet Earth, which our great sacrificing people have achieved by great sacrifice. There is only one way. People are not thinking. They are not using their mind. Take the example of students, the children going to schools and colleges. They do not think what for they are going to school, they are conforming. All are going to schools and colleges. They also go to schools and colleges, but mind is empty. In the classes, they will be not responsible and sincere. They will be making noise, disturbing the performance of the task of the teachers. And so they learn nothing. They think nothing. And so they become nothing. They will have nothing except all these kind of miseries, poverty, indolent, thoughtlessness and ignorance and the life which was blessed by God to become one of the blessed that become just a miserable things and then achieve nothing in life. Beloved friends, there is only one way that you can attain greatness and success in life is start thinking. Thinking that you are born great be loyal to yourself, love yourself, and if you really commit to yourself, you will attain each and everything in life because God has blessed you with all the power, the power of your mind. Give challenging tasks to your mind. And if you use your mind, mind has such a tremendous ability which have conquered time and space. You can definitely be blessed with all these what you want in life. That is very, very important. So real children, and anybody who have done nothing till now, forget about the past. Commit yourself in the present. Have a definite purpose in life. Be determined. Be committed. Use your willpower because the human will that forces on sin, the offspring of a deathless soul, can hew away to any goal the walls of granite interview. So don't worry what you have done in the past. Okay? Let bury the dead past which is dead. Think never about the future. Act, act in the living present. Heart within and God of our head. Believe in yourself. Have tremendous faith in yourself. And never be like a fish in the water but thirsty. Kabir Das said, Pani mein meen piyasi mujhe dekhat abat hasi. The translation in English is, there is a fish, the indolent, thoughtless and stupid fish in the water but it is thirsty and dying because of thirst. Children, students, you have tremendous power with yourself. But if you don't use 
your power of mind, you can never be successful in life. Like the fish, it has abundance of water surrounding it, but if it does not drink that water, it will die. So realize this truth. God made everyone equal. They blessed all the mankind with power of their mind. Simply now it is your responsibility. Decide, desire, persist with a definite purpose and goal in life. And once you have fixed the purpose, then you are bound to be successful in life. Because one of the great prime ministers of England, Disraeli said, everything will come to you if you just can wait patiently and persevere, committed, dedicated, with a resolute will, with the toughest mind, who never say die, striving, seeking, finding different ways and means, and never yielding before adversities, misfortune, temporary defeats, obstacles, impediments, and reverses. If you are having a big goal, you are bound to have a lot of suffering, a lot of difficulties, falling but rising, fighting, and progressing, and you are bound to being successful in life. I want to be very brave. Take the responsibility of your life. This life is just one and very precious life. You have the power. Arise, awake in a stop knot till you realize the dreams of your life, the goals of your life. That is, to be a man with great serving ability, a capability by developing the brain, learning the skills and art, so that you can serve the mankind and in return you will get everything else. Honor, dignity, pride, health, wealth, money, all will be showering on you because you have all the absolute power. God created men with abundance, but unfortunate people. They are miserable because they never think. Your mind is the master power that molds and makes. And man is mind. And even more, he takes the tools of thought and shaping what he wills, brings forth a thousand joys and thousand ills. Whatever you think, that will be reflected in your life. We are with our thought. What we think, that we become. With our thought, we make our world, said so Buddha. Beloved friends, start thinking. Because your mind is just like the soil. If you sow the seed of noble crops, you will be getting harvesting the beautiful crops. And if you sow nothing in your mind, you will get nothing, but the mind will still work. Weeds will come. <coughs> Negative things will come. And you will be a useless person. A burden for yourself and burden for the society. Why you are becoming irresponsible, irrelevant to the society. Rather, an I show to the entire humanity. You see the terrorists. You see the criminals. You see all people who are not thinking positive and they are becoming negative because empty mind is devil's workshop. If you think not great, you will become very small and very dangerous to the society. My this message is just for my beloved children whom I love very much. I am a teacher, teacher from my heart and soul and mind. I am a transformer. I am a motivator. I know the truth that any child can become great but their mind has to be filled with great thoughts because the thought in the mind will only make them what they are and what they will be by virtue of their thinking power. The thought, the great Ralph Waldo Emerson said, a man is what he thinks all day long. The great Marcus Aurelius said, a man is what his thoughts makes of him. And as I told you, Buddha said, with our thought, we make our world. Everything starts with thought. So don't be a thoughtless person. A person with great thought, noble thought, resolute will, steadfastly holding to your purpose, goal in life, and always striving, moving forward, focusing on the destination, enjoying the journey of your life, Never minding temporary defeats and failures, but start thinking. Think that you are not ordinary. 
you are as good as anybody else because the life of great men all remind us we can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time this life is very precious never waste it in gossip moving around with thoughtless friends commit yourself dedicate yourself listen to your teacher very sincerely never occupy your mind with evil thoughts because as james allen said thought in the mind has made us what we are by thought was wrought and built if a man's mind has evil thoughts pain comes of him as the will behind the ox if a man has purity in thought joy follows him as his own shadow you are the architect of your fortune you are yourself maker of yourself god helps those who help themselves you can create your own environment and conditions and circumstances of your life as the great ralph waldo emerson said if you decide something great in life the universe will conspire to make it happen you have to have the courage to decide first that where you want to go and you will become and the great george bernard shaw said people blame their conditions and circumstances for what they are but nobody should believe in this statement the people who come on this earth they really find the conditions and circumstances they want and if they don't find the market you can make your conditions and circumstances by virtue of the great thoughts because your thoughts only convert into the environment and conditions and everything else you create your own world by thinking what you think that you become i love you children i love you any person who have not achieved much in life start thinking great seek the help of the best and commit and dedicate yourself arise awake and stop not till you have reached your goal it is never too late to become a great person and successful person in life simply you have to have the courage to have a noble thought a great purpose with a burning desire obsession of your life and choose what you love doing at the great steve jobs said never leave for the dreams of the others you must have your own dream you must do what you love doing because the task is very challenging the path is very turbulent like the rocks you have to have the courage to climb so you love what you do and then there will be no pain there will be only gain roar o mighty human mind believe in your power of mind give a challenging task and god will help you if you believe in yourself and if you have faith in yourself this is very very universal truth never be happy with a small because you are capable of attaining great one poet said and i want to recite before you i lived a very miserable life not thinking that god has given me the tremendous power of our mind i become ordinary but had i demanded great from my life the life could have given me everything else that is the universal truth my dear friend demand from your life demand from your god demand from everyone else because you have not to beg you have tremendous power and potential to attain any great heights in life but remember we have no wings we cannot soar but we have feet to scale and climb by slow degrees and more and more the cloudy summits of our time so let us study wins the race be patient be not impatient in delay but wait be not impatient in delay but wait and if you just keep on waiting and striving and seeking your goal you will get it because god will help you everyone will help you you have to be first taking the first steps but if you are like that fish in the water and dying 
because of thirst, indolent, thoughtless, useless person, your life is waste. You will be always suffering. Life will be miserable. There is nothing in your life except living like cattle without any achievements, without any success. Beloved children, and anybody who has not achieved great success in life, be very much believing person. Because life's battle don't always go to the strong or the fast man, but sooner or later the one who wins is the one who thinks one can. If you think you can, you can do it. And your greatest source of your power is your mind. I repeat several times this. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve for you. Believe in yourself. Be confident. Be courageous. Be bold. You are not born to be ordinary. You are born to be successful. You are born to be healthy. You are born to be wealthy and wise. Just start now. This is the point you have to start. Never worry for the past. If you have not done great in past, that is dead, gone. What you do now, that is your destiny, that is your fate. Remember what the great Henley said, William Ernst Henley, I am the master of your fate and I am the captain of my soul. You yourself are the shaper of your life, the builder of your career, then make it the destiny of your life and nobody else. There is no external influence on you. You yourself, the master of man among men, yourself. And then, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you will be a successful man, my friend. Commit, dedicated, be determined, be passionate. Strive, dream, aspire, desire, beg, and you have the power. You can do it if you believe in what I told you. Thank you very much.